Welcome back guys. So I've been holding off doing this video for a while because there's a lot to cover if you want this to work well. But I thought that at this point it's probably time to maybe come out with it uh, before you guys lose <laughs> patience. So uh, in today's video I'll be explaining how to set up your neighbor. Uh, I won't go about putting everything because there's a lot to put, but I will tell you guys and describe and show everything that needs to be placed. So first things first to remember is that the neighbor saves your game. All right, Anything that you do after pressing play will be saved once the neighbor is inside of your level. So if you want to keep testing things out, I highly suggest you guys go in and do a save current as and just change the name to say version 01. And every time that you want to retest it, well, just save it under that. All right, so before uh, you actually start placing the neighbor and whatnot, I suggest you guys to go out and uh, place a nav mesh bound. So in the modes panel over here, um, you just go into your search and put in nav and it'll be nav mesh bounds volume. You drag that in. I've already got one in, so I won't be keeping this one, but you just uh, press the R and you scale it to the uh, length of your house, okay? Uh, I won't be keeping mine, uh, that new one, sorry, but just to show you guys, if I'm not mistaken, it should be this one. Yep, yeah, nav mesh bounds. So this guy here is what determines the nav mesh for my uh, for the AI. Okay, this will actually tell the AI, and if you guys want to see, you just have to press the P on your keyboard, and it'll show you the nav mesh. Okay, this is all where the player, the uh, the AI can actually pass. All right, wherever there's green is basically telling him that's where he can go. Wherever there's red, uh, basically tells him that there's no room for him to go there, so he will not go there. It basically doesn't calculate the, those red spots. All right. So once you have your nav mesh in, okay, and you placed it to uh, the house and go a little bit further, okay, you want your nav mesh to be slightly bigger, okay. So what you go and do is in your content browser, find the logics folder, double click it, and over here you have something called neighbor house. Just drag that in, and it'll be this big giant square. Okay. Now again, I already have one in, so I won't be keeping it, but just to show you guys, it's this one uh, right, whoops, I believe it's that one, actually, unless I'm able to click it, uh, let me just get it, let's go with house, and neighbor house. So this guy is my neighbor house, and as you can clearly see, it goes in the whole uh, bounds of his yard. Uh, you want it to be slightly smaller than the nav mesh, okay? So this will kind of tell him that this is his home, okay? After that, what you need is to place a player house, which is the one right next to it, player house. Just drag it in, and again, I won't be keeping it, but this is mine, okay? And as you see, it doesn't quite go into the um, the uh, neighbor house, okay? But it goes just outside, leaving a little space, a little a little play space, if you will, okay? But I, I leave it in the nav mesh just to give it kind of like forces the AI after afterwards to be like, okay, well, this is the player house. I can't get, I'm not supposed to get there, okay? This is what tells him where you're safe, basically. The player house okay so wherever you put the player house is your safe spot you can make it as big or as small as you want okay but just remember that if you put it a bit in the nav mesh it'll fix a lot of those little bugs that the neighbor can get stuck in all right so once we have that if you guys want as well uh, to have the neighbors cameras working what you're going to need to do is, if you want it in your level, I did not want it present in my level. Like, I didn't want the player to be able to touch these things. 
is I stuck uh, this stuff under the under my map. Okay, so it's basically the um, uh, what you call it the uh, TV camera. Uh, it's got a weird name. Uh, let me just remove some of this stuff. Come on, it's uh, the camera room new. Yeah, VP camera room. All right, so just place that in your world. And all you got to do is connect it to the switcher, which is this one here. Okay, it's called camera room switcher. So if we come out and in our content do camera and search for the actual two assets themselves. And when my computer finally decides, here we go. So this is the switcher itself. And you have the, uh, the camera room. Okay, so camera room new, and I think you can use that one too. I just use this one because it's wackier and cooler. And you need this switcher. So with this guy selected, you connect it to the switcher. And the switcher, you connect it to your general switch, which is like in, should be in your level. All right, so that's another point is if you want a lot of these things and you want the neighbor to work with, say, the TV or whatnot, well, you're going to need to put one of these general switches. All right. So once that's done and you have your camera either in your map or out of it, like I did with the camera switcher connected to it. OK. Um, the next thing that you're going to want to do is uh, if you haven't done so already is put in a TV. I just have a video that I posted not too long ago about how to set up the TV. So have the TV uh, connected to the general switch. Everything connects to this, basically. Anything that's electrical connects to your general switch. All right, just remember that. So have the TV, uh, add in one of these couches, add in a bathtub, uh, add some sinks, add a toilet. These are all things that should be present in your level, okay? If you want as well, add milk and he'll go out and drink it, add some more sinks, 